I don't want to assume. Mm -hmm. Are you strictly into guys? No. Not strictly into guys? No. Bisexual? I guess. I mean, yes, if you bad, no, if you so. a baddie, what's up? So explain this to me. When did you have, well, when did you, well, let's backtrack. Who did you have feelings for uh, at first? Was it the same sex? Was it the opposite sex? I feel like it was the opposite sex because, I mean, that's natural. Okay. Um, but... I feel like these cute girls, I know, you baddie, and then some girls is like, I don't know, I guess it was kind of, I was in a strip club, I guess, you know, things just swayed. <laughs> okay. My, <laughs> my straight life kind of curved out the picture. But it curved when you had this exotic dancing career path. Um, so how did that happen? Oh, there was a baddie. Another exotic she, dancer? A yeah, client I feel like slash she was, customer? It was, it was another dancer, but I feel like she um, persuaded me into being, you know, bisexual. And she was like, you bad, I'm bad. And then she's like, oh, let's go shopping. And she would buy me stuff and stuff like that. <laughs> she was trying She was my to sugar mama. <laughs> Now, was she bisexual herself? Yeah. Was she lesbian? Uh, I think she was bisexual. Cause she, yeah. Do you remember what age you were at the time? Twenty, I guess. Or no, 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 nineteen. Do you remember what age she was? Like twenty-three. Oh, cause you said sugar mama. Or twenty-four, probably one of those two. I would think somebody a little older than that. But okay, so that was your first, um, I guess, encounter mm -hmm. of the same sex. And uh, was it just purely sexual, or did it become a girlfriend, girlfriend? I mean, we text all day, every day. She'll send me pictures, I'll send her pictures, like, cute. She's like a girly girl, so she'll be like, oh, I think you should wear this, I want you to get your nails this color. You know, it's like a relationship, friendship, and then, you know, plus extraness. Some sexual stuff there, but <laughs> would you consider yourselves, at that moment, just talking, dating? It was girlfriend, girlfriend relationship? I, I guess. How long did that last? Not super long. Not super long at all. And then after that, uh, you know, when I do these type of interviews, mm -hmm. sometimes it's just a sexual thing after that first experience. It's just, yeah, you know, I, I'll never date a girl. I can never see myself with a, a female in a relationship. But sexually, I'm stimulated. I believe in what you're saying 100%. Because so I see some girls on Instagram that, that's so cute, and then I'm like, I wouldn't date her, but... Sexually, she, some things can happen. Yeah. I see. We can make some shake. Um, okay, so... When you do this, mm -hmm. um, did your parents ever find out about stuff like this? Um, recently, I had an interview, um, and they asked me some question like this, too. And I just told it, and then my mom watched my interview, and then she was like, oh, my God. And then I posted a picture of, uh, um, a couple months ago with this other this dancer at G5. I was sticking out my tongue, and she had her hand on my butt, and my dad's like, are you gay? And I'm like, it's not that serious, you know? And, you know, I'm going to marry a man. Yeah. <laughs> just curious, in your family... Um are there other gay family members? I believe there is a couple gay, like not boys, but I feel like there's a lot of girls. Probably maybe on my dad's side, it's more like Hispanic side. And I believe like maybe some of the younger kids on my mom's family side, like the young, younger girls and boys, probably a little, you know? So when they see the interview and they hear your, your answers to the questions and they find out, you know, you've had an experience with somebody of the same sex, are they shocked? Are they surprised? Are they disappointed? Are they? The first time my, mo my mom was trying to figure out who was this girl girl I was talking about, and she was shocked. She was like, I want this to Jesus Christ. And then I'm like, mommy, it's not a serious. It's nothing serious. She's like, is it the girl that looked like a man? And I'm like, no, 
<laughs> no, it was, a, it was a pretty girl. And then she's like naming all these people. Mm, I see. <laughs> now, have you had a relationship with a female other than just sexual after that first time or no? Um, I want to say no, but I, I don't know. A lot of girls crush on me and they be texting me some freaky stuff. And I'd just be going along with it. And I'm like, yeah. I see. <laughs> now, at this point, uh, when it comes to being hit on by men or women, mm -hmm. what do you think that percentage is if we had a pie chart out of 100%? I feel like it's 50-50. I'm not going to lie. Because a lot of girls slide in my DM and a lot of boys slide in my DM. Now, when it comes to guys, mm -hmm. what do you look for? What are some characteristics? Um, I feel like you got to be taller than me. Um, but first of all, it's personality. I'm a little, I feel like I'm a little off. Like, you know, I'm not, I have a big personality and I feel like you're probably going to have to accept it. This is the person I am and how you're going to deal with it. If you're like funny too, if you're like funny, kind, not really like verbally abusive, I'm going to like, we're going to get along. And if we could go back and forth with each other, like it's going to be funny. You know, I don't know how, how to explain it, but I like the personality of a boy has to be on point, just as if it was with a girl. Good personality, good c communication. Um, if you're honest or if you're not honest, I mean, I'm still go through your phone regardless. Um, if you, I want you to look nice. I mean, I really don't talk to light skinned boys like that. Like, I, I don't have, I don't know, I'm not light skinned. I don't want no light skinned boy. Um, but if you cute and light skinned, maybe I'll maybe I'll give you a chance, you know? I like white men. What's up, DJ Small? <laughs> <laughs> now, when you say look into somebody's phone, mm -hmm. they're giving you permission to do this stuff? No. Like I would go through your phone when you're sleeping, I'm gonna put your fingerprint on the phone while you're sleeping. I'm so mad that they got they upgraded the iPhone that you have to do facial recognition. So yeah, so I'm gonna have to constantly look at your, when you put it in your password, I gotta constantly look. You know, I probably, instead of sitting next to you in the car, I'm gonna probably sit in the back seat. Maybe you put in the phone, the, the thing, you know, the password. Have, have, has the opposite looked in your phone? Yeah, yeah, a lot. And you gave them permission or they snuck in? Sometimes I, I, you know, um, I usually give my significant other my password. Sorry. I just burped. Um, but I, I give them my password because I really don't got nothing to hide. And you expect the same in return their password too? Um, yeah, but the boy's not trying to give their password up. I don't know what they got on their phone that they need to give, can't give me. So, so if you can't give me your password, I'm not giving you my password. I'm going to change it. You also mentioned height. How tall are you? I'm five, five and a half. I feel like I'm taller, but I just went to the doctor literally I feel like it was last Monday or Tuesday. Um, yeah, and I'm five, five and a half. And what about when it comes to, I mean, you want guys to be taller than you. But yeah, what about women? Oh, shit. No, be cute, be a baddie. It don't matter what size you are. And you also mentioned what personal, I mean, what personality traits you expect mm -hmm. from a female, but what about as far as physical traits? Um. I like because your definition of a baddie might be different than somebody else's. So. I mean, you don't got to be thick. You could be skinny and still have a beautiful face. You know, you know how to dress. I like girls that know how to dress. I like girls that always kept their toes done, their nails done, you know, your hair done. I mean, my hair not always done, but you look cute. You have to look nice. You know what I'm saying? Don't look like a raggedy hoe. And then one more question here on the physical attraction with a guy. Uh, what about build-wise for them? For guys? You yeah, can be skinny. skinny, small. You could be big or large. You could be a white nigga, black nigga, really, really tall nigga. It don't matter. Okay. What about ugly or unattractive in a guy? Have you let one of those slip before? Yeah. I've, I've talked to an ugly guy, you know, because I had my eyes closed because I was laughing. Because <laughs> <laughs> there could be somebody out there that stimulates you sexually mm -hmm. and stimulates you in that manner, but not physically, not not attraction wise, mm -hmm. mentally too, mentally and sexually, but not physically. You yeah, know what I'm saying I understand 100 percent. 
And were they ugly to you or they were ugly to others? I think it was both. Okay. <laughs> what about age? Is that important to you? Um, I mean, I don't like no young boy. I like older boys, but not grandpa. Not 40. Either. You're 21 at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, what? How much older would you go? Um, I don't want to say 40, but you know, a lot of celebrities are about to be 40. And a lot of like, I don't know, maybe I'm not saying, I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> take that one back? I take that one because maybe I'm not looking for a celebrity. Because all these people going to be like, she just want a rich nigga. No, maybe I want, or just like, it don't matter. If you kind, if you look good, and you keep up with yourself, what's up, you know? Um, I'm down. What's the biggest age gap you've you've been with somebody, though? Not that old. I'm, oh, okay. I, I don't feel like it's like I've been with... Oh, oh. No more than five-year difference, maybe? Probably not. Yeah, no. Oh. What about religion? Is that important to you? <sighs> um, religion is a very touchy subject because I haven't been to church in a while. But I still, you know, I still ask God for forgiveness. And I, um, I don't know. I don't know. I still pray. And I pray and I thank God for giving me what I have. So I don't want to say I'm Christian or like any other religion because, you know, there is a superior being. I just don't know who he is because the man in the Bible, I'm not 100% sure if that's who, who it is. But the person who created me, I'm praying to them and I'm thanking them, you know, not only my parents for planting the seed, but everything that they are planning for me to do and blessing me with that they already blessed me with and stuff. But in the in the... In the significant other, is mm -hmm. religion important in that manner? I mean, blasphemy isn't nice. So if you're like, fuck God, I'm going to be like, you need to chill. You know what I'm saying? Um, but at the same time, if you don't go to church, I'm, I'm not going to church all the time. I'm not going to say I'm the biggest Christian or the biggest person to pray every day, wake up and pray in the morning. But at the same time, just... At the same time, you got to be like, I do thanks the superior brain being for the blessings that we have because you could wake up dead. Now, what about the romance department? Most romantic things someone has done for you or you have done for someone else. Um, what is the most romantic thing I've done for someone? Oh. We had done a Valentine's Day segment, but yeah. if somebody hadn't watched that, I don't know if any of those answers apply to this. So. Mm -hmm. Um, I mean, I don't know if it's the photo shoot that was very Valentine's or I bought somebody a necklace, like a gold necklace, with a nice little pendant. Uh, that's very romantic, I guess. I take you out to eat or you take me out to eat and, you know, we have, you know, we make love. <laughs> um... I don't know, something. And the photo shoot you were referring to when we did the Valentine's Day segment, if somebody didn't watch, was uh, you took a photo shoot for somebody that you had a, a significant other of that was incarcerated. They were in jail at the yeah. time. Yeah, yes. Yeah, so I did a photo shoot, for a Valentine's Day shoot, like a, in a bathtub with rose petals and candles, me wearing my sexy red lingerie, nice loose curl hair, red lipstick. Just looking beautiful. Now, do you like the lovey-dovey stuff? Um, sometimes it's like, um, give me some space. And sometimes it's like, yeah, I'm with it. I like that lovey-dovey stuff. It's just like the what's going on. We can't be lovey-dovey all the time. Sometimes we gotta be, we gotta, you know, we gotta go through stuff, other stuff. Like to cuddle. I like to cuddle. I like to cuddle a lot. But it it'd be for like only like a minute or two, because mm. sometimes I feel like cuddling, I don't get the right position and my back start hurting and yeah. You like public affection? No, not 100%. I mean, I'll ask for a kiss in public, a kiss, or you can't be touching me on my, on my butt all the time in public because um, I have people watching me. Like there's probably that's gonna be like a little kid or something 
probably like, I know her from Instagram. And I don't have like a significant other on Instagram. So it's like, um, why is she letting that boy touch on her butt? Who is this boy? Is that her boyfriend? Why don't you have a, uh, why don't you publicly put that on your Instagram, on your social media? I'm not saying I have a boyfriend, but I wouldn't put that on Instagram because um, I feel like my lips are dry. No, they good. Okay. But um, because if I tag him or anything, I, girls are investigators. You know, they gonna investigate till they find him 32 weeks ago, commenting on my picture, heart eyes, I love you, bae, and me liking the comment, and then they gonna go and find it and go to his page and slide in his DM and be like, just because KKB is, this is KKBSH's um, boyfriend or significant other, I want to break this up. I want to make her miserable. I want to slide in her DM, DM uh, his DM, and Fuck her nigga, because I'm proud of that shit. Mm -hmm. So you 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 think this is what would happen, or you've know, actually been through this? I know this is what will happen. That's okay. all I'm going to say. <laughs> now, what about, you mentioned making love, mm -hmm. right? When we were talking about the romantic stuff. How important is sex to you? Um, it's important, but it can't be everything because sometimes it's like, why you want I know my pum pum good, but I don't want to have sex every day. Come on now, give me a break. Like, give me two seconds. Like, um, sex is important. Is You know, it, sometimes people are only in a relationship because of sex. But it has to be chemistry. It has to be the how we get along with each other. We can't be arguing all day and then you expect me to bust it wide open for you. Man, you hurt my feeling. Feel you hurt my feelings earlier. This is not what you didn't even say. You're sorry. I'm not making up without you saying you're sorry. Like, crazy. Long as she went without it. Um, I don't know. Long, couple months. Probably like two months. I don't know. Couple that was on purpose, or that's how life just worked out. That's just how life just worked out. Was that easy or hard? It wasn't like when you're not thinking about it. It's easy. I mean, I, I moved in with my mom back again. I moved back in with my mom. And it's like, yeah. Now, when you're in a relationship with somebody, who wears the pants? The man. The man wears the pants, but sometimes you got to put the pants on. Because they be getting, they be, they be trying to put their foot down sometimes. And you like, uh, I'm not with that shit. I, if I, I want to be free sometimes, okay? Stop that shit. You mentioned celebrities in this segment. Do you prefer industry men or women or not? Um, it's not even if I prefer them. It's sometimes they put it in your face so much. Like, I am me, okay? Text me every day and, you know, I'm liking you. I'm in likes with you. And then, but then they're like, I am, I am super... I'm a superstar. I had no time to text you back. And I'm like, I rather just date a regular person sometime, or like I'll just, I'll just date a regular person because they're gonna kiss my butt. <laughs> now, uh, as you're getting more and more popular, popping, yeah. How much harder is it to find a genuine relationship? It's hard. I the no. further you climb that success ladder. It's hard. How do you do it? I'm How not do you looking it for it. <laughs> I'm not looking for nobody right now. I'm looking for money. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to say it like that. I'm looking for opportunities to be, be become more successful. That was better, right? <laughs> that was better, but now that you said it the... <laughs> <laughs> earlier way mm -hmm. that somebody's gonna watch this in question and say is she a gold digger yeah <laughs> I'm not a gold digger because I make my own coin but um I don't, I don't care if you got money what you gonna do spend your money on me you gonna buy me a bag you gonna buy me some shoes mm -mm. yeah now just curious with the the viral I don't even know how to describe it, but the viral stuff, the social media stuff, the influencer stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, have you had s significant other trouble with this stuff? Uh, 
don't, yeah, like, I can't show to, like, you're, if you're my, it, I understand there's a respect, right? Not not everybody's in the field that I do, but you guys kind, kind of have to understand what I'm going through. Like, you know, this is my career. I, I, if I have to shake my ass, I have to shake my ass. If I have to get my body painted and a man is touching on me, you have to understand because he's doing his job and I'm doing my job. So, oh, why are you gonna do that? You know what I'm saying? Why you gotta talk like this? Why you gotta act like this in front of this person? Because I'm single in the real, in the in social media world, but we are in a relationship. So just understand that this is what's going on. You know what I'm saying? You just understand that we're in a relationship and I respect you, but at the same time, nobody else knows that I'm in a relationship. And if they don't respect, like, if they don't know, what what is there to respect? You know what I'm saying? I keep saying that. Oh, fuck. I'm fucking up. Do you ever feel like living in that sort of, uh, sort of world there where you keep it looking single on social media, mm -hmm. but in a relationship in private, do you think that um, that's gonna affect you some sort of way? Is it almost like living a double life or no? I feel like social media, everybody lives a double life on social media. Everybody go on social media to flex. Everybody go on social media to show off how happy they are and at home, they probably not really ha that happy. So if I'm keeping my relationship life private to make my relationship, I feel like it will make my relationship stronger. They see that this is the, my career and they will, they're will they supposed to understand what's going on. And it, when it's time and when it's ready where I'm at a certain point in my, you know, my career, I will be able to um, show you off. So you are open to maybe doing that at some point? Yeah, if when I get a boyfriend. I see. Or whatever happens. But has anyone at this point made you pause it? You're, uh, again, the social media viral influencer world. Has anyone ever tried to get you to pause it? Made you almost quit it altogether? Yes. Um, they were like, uh, well, my manager, I guess, kind of made me want to stop. Cause I'm I, at first I was really difficult to deal with. I was like I really didn't want to start this Instagram thing. I really didn't want to start it. But then he was like, "You're good at it. You know, we could capitalize off of this. We could we could, you could be something big." And then I was like, "Such a bitch." I was like, "Well, I don't want to do that. I'm tired now." And as I see more success, I'm like well, this is my job and I have to force myself even if I'm tired. If I have to do five shoots today, I'm gonna do five shoots today. If I have to um, wake up early and I have stuff and then I have to be up until five o'clock in the morning editing a video, I'm gonna do it. But before I'm like, oh my God, I wanna go lay down. Like, why I have to wake up this early? Why I have to, why I have to go out this late or stuff like that? Why do I have to be this person that, um, if I don't like you and if I don't agree on what you're doing, why I have to like kind of still work with you? Yeah, but he was like, I'm not helping you no more. And I was like, but I need your help. <laughs> I got it far because of you. Yeah. So this manager, you're in a relationship with this manager or no? Mm, no, it's just like, I guess it's a good relationship because we've, we've been working together for so long and um, I don't know, you know, it's like that. It's like you understand me and I understand you and we've uh, grown together and I've known you for so long. You know what's right for me and you want what's best for me is actually what's best for us too. So, yeah. No, so I guess what I'm saying is, is your, this manager that you're speaking of, this is also your, happens to be your boyfriend too or no? No, that's not what I'm oh, saying. Oh, separate. Yeah, this is, we have, I guess we're like, a, we have a close relationship, but at the same time, it's like, we're a business. This is my business, and both of our business, because we're both getting paid off of it, so we gotta focus on this. I don't have time for a boyfriend right now, to be honest. Mm. Uh, has that manager tried to cross that line or no? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> 
Just curious. Okay, now, when it comes to a boyfriend, right? Mm -hmm. Or a girlfriend, do you want to incorporate them into your career or no? You know, I think it works out for a lot of people. The having a, like a relationship goals, but at the same time, I'm looked at more like um, differently on social media. As a sex figure, guys like me. So I feel like it would kind of mess up. Only if it's a girl, probably. I feel like it would kind of mess up if it was a guy. Mm. But you would want that. I mean, we can make it happen, I guess. Well, because some people do keep it separate. Yeah, I I feel like I would keep, I'm keeping I would keep it separate for a while. Now, have you experienced real love before? Yes. How does one know the difference between real love and let's say puppy love or lust? Oh, lust is like you gonna know. You just gonna know right at, right. Right off the bat, it's like, okay, he only calling me at 3 o'clock in the morning, or he want to only show me off to his friends, or like this type of stuff, and, and not really care about me, or don't care about what's going on. Like, my grandma died today, uh, and you asked me to come over to your house to suck some dick. Um, or, that's lust, and then, like puppy love is like when you're young or like in the beginning of you guys talking and you're like, I love you. It's been four weeks, girl. It's been a month. How you love him so quick? What he did for you? How, is it love at first sight? You know? And then there's like real love where you guys been together for a while and it's like we've been through like the ups, the downs, the underneath, um, everywhere. We've been through hard and good times and we have memories together and it's like, man, we did all this stuff together. I love you, man. And you're my friend and you're my boyfriend. And you're like, you have the what's right for me, like what you want from me. And you know, I know what I want from you. And you know. Can a love be lost and rekindled at some point of time? Yes. Has that happened to you? It has happened to me, but yes, that's it. <laughs> Can one love somebody but not be in love with them? I believe so. You can care for somebody, you can love somebody, you could want what's best for somebody and not be with that person. You've experienced that too? Yes, by a lot of these people. Not a lot, but yeah. Okay, you've been into a relationship before. Best relationship advice you can share with us today? What's one thing you would leave us with? I feel like kind, kindness is goes very far. The way you talk to somebody goes very far. The respect that you give somebody goes very far. If you're calling me a bitch every day or it, it's going to make me feel like I'm less than this person. Like, why are you even with me? You call me bitch, ho, slut, all this type of stuff. And you expect me to like feel like I'm wanted. You're going to push me away and make me want to go be with somebody else. Um, yeah. What was the question again? <laughs> Best relationship advice you could yeah. share with us today. That's so be wonderful. kind, be kind, be honest. If you're not honest, be loving. Try to make it up, you know, make up for that dishonesty. Um, try to change, try to evolve to the person that you your love but one wants you to be, but you don't have to change completely as a person because they fell in love with that person that you were, you know? But as every year you, you change, or like every, throughout time, everybody changes. It's coming of age.